the Palm Beach Civic Association expands its communication outreach with a state-of-the-art television studio. We call it Studio 33480, the zip code for the beautiful island of Palm Beach. Sponsored by Finley Galleries, our goal is to bring you in-depth interviews with the most colorful and knowledgeable personalities on the island. And now, our host. As the new face of leadership at the Palm Beach Civic Association, Chairman Michael Pusillo has been very busy. Then I want to talk a little bit about your book, which uh, I've read and I will recommend to all of you. It's, it's a great read. Uh, it's a fast read and I think uh, should be a mandatory read for high school students in America today. Now, today's signature luncheon series focuses on safety and security, which in the age of scams, Cybercrime uh, is a highly important topic. In a town of 9,000 residents, about 4,700 get an email every week with a regular news program, a newscast put out by the Civic Association, and generally on average of about 2,500 people a week watch our, uh, our news program on the internet and get their news about events in the town of Palm Beach. That's up about 30%, by the way, from our meeting a year ago. We have similar viewership for our Studio 33480 uh, interviews. And for those like me who prefer their written, uh, to get their news in written form, we have William Kelly's well-written and informative articles about matters of interest in the town of Palm Beach every week. And those also get about 2,200 views every week. And that's about a 20% increase over where we were a year ago. You will very often hear people in the town of Palm Beach say, I get my news about town issues from the Civic Association. For an organization like ours, the ability to connect with residents and communicate regarding issues of the day is critically important. Given Michael Pusillo's engagement on key committees and with many important town concerns, we asked the newly elected chairman of the Civic Association to join us in the studio. Welcome to Studio 33480. I'm Wendy Rutledge. The Palm Beach Civic Association has recently undergone a transition in leadership at the top. With us today is our newly elected chairman, Michael Pusillo. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, it's wonderful to have you here today. So uh, you have quite a history in this town. Lifelong resident, if I'm understanding that right. correctly. Former president of the Palm Beach Town Council. And now here you are, you know, a long legal career. Now uh, you're here as the newly elected chairman. Um, another leadership position. How do, how do you feel about that? Well, Wendy, I'm very excited about it. I'm looking forward to uh, my tenure as chair of the Civic Association. It's a great organization, has a wonderful history with the town. Uh, I think it's had great strides under Bob Wright's leadership, and I'm looking uh, to continue that. Well, and I'm absolutely sure you will. So uh, let's talk about your vision for this organization. And, you know, we are going to be celebrating our 80th season. That's pretty darn impressive. How does an 80-year-old organization stay relevant in, in 2023? Well, I think we do that by continuing to do what we've been doing for the last 80 years and doing it well. Uh, we have a history of being involved with town matters, town affairs working cooperatively with uh, the town government, trying to be a resource uh, for our town government, and also communicating with residents, letting them know what's going on in the town when we have important issues, uh, speaking out on those issues in a way that's constructive, holding debates and forums. Uh, that's what we've been doing for 80 years, and I think we've been doing it well, and I hope to continue doing that. Well, you make it seem even more important now because, you know, we, we're kind of swelling as an island. Uh, the population is growing a little bit, and so I can see the importance of keeping people informed. Right. Very much so. Sure. Well, now, uh, former Chairman Bob Wright said many times that this organization could really attract some very accomplished people. And uh, I've noticed that over the couple of years I've been here. Uh, why is that? Or do you agree? And, and why? Well, I, I do agree. And, and first of all, I, I think Palm Beach attracts those types of folks. Yes. Uh, for a long, long time, Palm Beach is a place that has attracted 
um, a, a lot of distinguished uh, folks who've had uh, very successful careers, and it, it, it's a community that people uh, come to. They tend to come here a little bit later in their careers very often. Um, we have some homegrown stars, but we also have a lot of folks who've come here uh, either as they're approaching retirement or afterwards. And these are people who te tend to be engaged. They want to be engaged in their community. They want to know what's going on. Uh, and they want to be a part of the conversation. They want to have an impact on, uh, on their community. I think th these are folks who take pride in their community and, and uh, uh, you know, want to have a constructive role. It really shows. I mean, I, over the couple of years I've been part of it, it, it really shows. And uh, one of the things that is so dynamic about this organization is its committees. Um, you know, they seem to be involved in really everything that is going on in the town now and important to the town and the future of the town. Can you talk to us about those committees a little bit? Well, we have a number of standing committees. Uh, we also have created a few committees here and there where we saw a need. Uh, our tax and finance committee right now is very active under Mark Seidman's leadership, looking at all aspects of, uh, of the budget. Uh, the water committee that I have chaired with Leo Vasellio has been very active in terms of addressing this issue of what are we going to do for our source of water in 2029 when the current contract with West Palm Beach expires. Uh, and we also have uh, committees looking at health issues, uh, which is something that's very important for the town, uh, and other issues as they, as they come up. So uh, we can form committees when necessary. Uh, we did that with the critical needs during the pandemic. And, uh, and we'll continue to do that and, and try and meet the needs of the community with, with our committees. The committees give the directors an, an opportunity to get very involved in issues. And uh, we've got a lot of directors. Uh, we, we want them to be active and involved. And, and the committees are a good vehicle for that. Yes. Um, and speaking of the Water Committee, um, next season, uh, every season, the Palm Beach Civic Association offers some programs, some forums. And I know that you have said uh, already that you see maybe one of those forums being about the water issue. Uh, what, what kinds of programs do you think the Civic Association will be offering in the fall and uh, the 2023-24 season? Well, to some extent, it depends on what the town council does and when they do it. Uh, I know the council is very involved in the water issue. They're also involved in some other issues of, of importance. Uh, zoning is an issue that uh, they've spent a great deal of time on. They had consultants in, and they're, get, they're looking at redoing the zoning code that has essentially been the same for nearly 50 years. So those are two significant issues that I could see the Civic Association being involved with in terms of hosting a forum, perhaps having some members of the town council or the mayor uh, address members of the public about what exactly they've done, how they got to where they got, uh, what the decision-making process is, the benefits that they consider, the risks that they considered in making a decision. We'd like to be helpful to the council and to the gov town government generally in giving them an opportunity to um, communicate with residents, uh, possibly before the results, possibly after, uh, depending on the timing and, and, and where that goes. But uh, we want to be there to be a constructive force to help the town government uh, on these issues and other issues that may come up as well. Uh, traffic, congestion, these are things we hear about a great deal. Um, I'm not sure what uh, necessarily is in store for us with regard to those issues. They're very difficult issues. Yes. Uh, we've been talking about parking in this town for a very, very long time, and I suspect will be for a long time going forward. But to the extent that the government in, of the town gets into these issues and, and makes important decisions, we want to be a vehicle for them to communicate with residents about what they're doing and why they're doing it. That sounds great. Well, congratulations on your new role. I, I know that the uh, organization is in great hands, and we appreciate your coming in today. Well, thanks, Wendy. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. Thanks. And that does it for us in the studio. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time right here in Studio 33480. Studio 33480 is brought to you by the Palm Beach Civic Association, our sponsor, Finley Galleries, and our viewers. We welcome your thoughts on how our programming can best serve our members and residents.